Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back for another video. Today we're actually going to do another course review, another nine holes. Um, we had a couple people subscribe um, and said that they enjoyed the last video, so I appreciate you guys for, uh, for leaving some comments. I just want to show you guys real quick all the courses that we actually have. Um, We'll just do a list real quick and I'll scroll down. We actually haven't downloaded every single one because they did add, well, they added a, a lot actually um, in the new update. So it looks like we got some more that we'll have to download. But as you can tell, we got a lot of golf courses. Um, so I'll show you that. And then you can also scroll down through here. Um, I just started with Bally Hack at the last one. Um, and we could go down the list, but I'm going to kind of just scroll down here. And what I'm really wanting you guys to do is watch through this and see if there's any courses that you want me, to, if you want to see earlier, because like I know uh, Augusta's on here and, you know, it's considered Georgia Golf Club. So that would probably be like, you know, a long time, like two months from now before you'd see it since I'm uploading daily. But if you see any on here that you'd want to see a little bit earlier, like they got Kiowa, um, let's see, I don't know, uh, Liberty National, there's some... Uh, pretty big ones there's pebble beach they got pinehurst uh pine valley they got uh trump's miami course on here i've played that before they got the old course but yeah uh deer run scottsdale so they got quite a bit on here so if you whistling straights too that's probably going to be a hard one so if you guys want to see um a course maybe a little earlier because right now i'm just kind of going down the list uh, and if you guys recommend a course, I'll just like uh, maybe just throw you up, uh, be like, oh, yo, thanks to this dude. He recommended this course. We're going to play this today. But today we're actually been playing Bandon Dunes. Um, let's see. Um, so we can play 7,000. I'm just going to play 6,500. And like I said, we're going to set up for 10-foot uh, gimmies. And I'm not going to put – I'm going to put on mulligans just in case I need it. I shouldn't, though. But I think that's all we need. So let's get going. I, I've, had, I've had a few warm-up shots. We had some customers. Um, today we had a lesson today and then we had, uh, some people come by and wanted to check out the simulator. So we had some people today and I was just, uh, kind of hitting shots so they can see, um, the software that we have, but, um, actually I've played this course before. So, um, the, the new, the new updates is pretty cool. Uh, I'll show you this real quick. So I don't know if the last one I showed, uh, you can actually zoom in and see where your target line is. So I usually carry it about two, like I said, 260. So we're gonna cut quite a bit of this corner off. I'm gonna go about right there. And uh, if you play a little bit of a, a cut, that'd be good. So like I said, we haven't, we'll have to find the tees. Both tees are up here. Um, if you haven't seen any of the other videos, I recommend going to check them out. Um, I, like I said in the other videos, this is a facility that you can actually come and golf at. This is Teed Up Golf, located in Terre Haute, Indiana. And uh, I'll leave the information down in the uh, description to our Facebook, and you can message us on there and get some information. So yeah, let's get this nine holes in. Let's see what we can shoot. This is uh, Bandon Dunes. All right, so like I said, we gotta get a little bit warm, but... <laughs> I've been, uh, been working all day. You gotta do a lot of traveling tomorrow. So I got 148 uphill. I think this is a pitching wedge. Yeah, 148 uphill. I think a pitching wedge is actually pushing it. But we will, yeah, we're gonna go right at the pin. And if it bleeds out a little bit, it'll be in the middle of the green. <clears throat> Yep, there it is. Bleeds out just a little bit, and it'll be in the middle of the green. So that works out. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you guys have course recommendations, go ahead and leave them down there because I'll I'll skip around. I know I'm real excited to uh, my microphone's messed up. I'm real excited to play Augusta. My microphone's all messed up. There we go. Cool. Um, I'm real excited to play Augusta and see how that goes. I'm gonna have to, I know this is gonna be annoying for you guys, but I have to, I have to move that, that's annoying. All right, so we got a birdie putt here. I gotta quit, hit the camera and stuff. So yeah, um, we mess around with this a lot and 
with that box, it's super, super helpful with this new update with that Roxer box. We actually talked to the guy who made it today. <laughs> Someone's phone's here. Uh, let me go ahead and answer it. But uh, I was like, man, that's not my ringtone. But uh, yeah, someone left their phone, so they'll be back. Hopefully we can finish this round before they get here. So yeah, we got 42 feet. Let's see if we can just roll it in that gimme circle. That's gotta go. That's gotta go. All right. Now we gotta make this. We gotta make, we can't start off with a bogey. Is it a straight putt? It is, all right. Straight putt, 11 foot. Just roll it in. All right, cool. I was gonna say, we gotta make those. We gotta make those, gotta, I think, I, I can't remember what I shot last time on here, and I don't even know what I ranked this uh, particular course. So we got 202, a little downhill. Um, you know what? I think I'm just going to go with a little choke down six iron. I think that's a smart play right here. A little choke down six. I could probably really get after a seven and get it there. Seven is usually a 195 carry, but we'll just do a nice, easy uh, choke down six. <clears throat> All right. Oh, yeah. That's actually going to be really nice. Please. Get. All right. Good call. That was a good call. It felt good. Good swing. The combination was there. Got my, my clubs backwards. So yeah, we just got a little, little putt. A little putt, my bad. This is a big putt. I'm gonna aim quite a bit right. Um, man, that how how quick it is at the beginning. It's kind of tough to engage. I mean, if anything, we'll miss low side and. Be a tap in par or give me par. Oh, get in there. Oh, all right. Good shot. That was a good hole. I read it pretty well. It wasn't too bad. All right, 473. Oh, we got a par five. Okay. This is where we can make up. We've parred the first two holes, so we can. We can definitely make up. So this is the, the cool thing about the box we have here at Teed Up. Um, so that's 247. I'm just gonna play right along that edge. And hopefully my driver actually works out this time. I, think, I can't remember how far I hit my driver last time, but it didn't, I didn't hit it very well. So yeah, just a little, just a little baby fade. Quit slicing. All right, I'll take that. That's fine. 260 carry. Like I said, that's about average for me. I'm happy with that. So 205 uphill. We're gonna go ahead and do the uh, six iron again. 205 uphill. Oh, we might full six iron because it looks like there's bunkers short and I'd rather be long on the green than short in those bunkers so I'm actually gonna full swing a six iron here not choke down oh dude that is I'm crushing it today I'm crushing it look at that that felt awesome no warm-ups well kind of a warm-up yeah, that felt good. All right, so now we got an eagle putt. I'd really like to roll this in. See if we can go real low. It's gonna break a little bit at the beginning. I'm gonna go about a cup, cup out right there. Oh, dude, it'd be sweet. I don't need. I don't know if I've eagle eagled on this uh, on this software yet. About to find out. Well, nine, 19 feet, 11, five inches downhill.
Oh no, I didn't hit it hard enough. Oh, I did. All right. Well, we got a birdie. Um, I played it too high, which is all right. Well, we got a birdie, so we're one under. Pretty good. What we got next? 327 par four. So I'm gonna use, actually use the keyboard for this. I've been trying to use the box as much as possible, but just basically dragging it to where you know that you can, uh, where you're gonna carry it just to see where it goes is so nice. But the box that we have doesn't have that capability, so. Well, my dad's here, so special guest. Ron's coming back. Ron's coming back, he forgot his phone. Oh, got a cut. That might be in the rough. Sit. Whoa, a little laggy. That's all right, it just didn't cut. Didn't cut, so we're in deep rough. We have a little lag going on right now. I don't know what that's all about, but. Um, 81 in the deep rough. I made a 52 out of this. Put it in the back of the stance a little bit. Let's play a 100 yard shot, basically. If you want to. Warning, low FPS. Yeah, if you want to, that's fine. So yeah, that little FPS drop beer there, I think that was just because of the deep rough. But uh looks like we got another uh another birdie putt. And honestly, it looks like it's barely breaking, so I'm gonna play left edge. Left edge, 18 foot. It's barely breaking at the cub. Oh no, I didn't hit it hard enough. I didn't hit it hard enough. Oh, that's, that's what I'm talking about. As soon as I hit it, I was like, oh no. All right, we're two under through four, that's good. Um, this course doesn't seem too, like, it doesn't seem too bad. I've played it before. Um, I think what's good about this course is it's got big open fairways. I think that was the big thing that I noticed about this was how open the fairways are. <laughs> but you see along the left side here, it looks like we got a lot of, you know, out of bounds, which for right-handers, that's not bad. Um, but for left-handers, most, most golfers slice. So I'm just gonna play the same shot that I did last hole. Just nice and easy swing. Yeah, there it goes. So that should be good. It was 270 to that bottleneck, I think. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, I was trying to stay short of that bottleneck. 129. Looks like the pin is in the front, so we can kind of throw it past it a little bit. Bring it back, 129. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use a 48 degree here. It's like a three quarter swing, maybe. Yeah, three quarter swing. Actually, I know exactly what I need to do here. Give me circle. Please be the right yardage. Wow, extremely short. 120, I remember the skill challenge. 120 was such a good yardage for me. And I just choked there. I'm gonna have to play this one front of my stance. Yeah, at this point, all I need is to get in that gimme circle. Ooh, a little tough, a little tough. I'm actually gonna take a second so I can run this phone up here so I can feel like it's on the desk there. So then I have to come all the way back here. <clears throat> All right, 
so that's taken care of. So we got a long par putt here, I think. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. <clears throat> Sorry about the brief interruptions. Like I said, we just had people leave and just got free so I can, I can golf a little bit. And uh, I'd like to shoot pretty low here. I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play that right edge. It's downhill a little bit, so. I'm gonna play that line right before it. That's where I'm gonna pretend the hole's at. Oh, yeah, I did hit that way too hard, but that's all right. Did we double that? I think we double bogeyed that. One, two short, three. Oh no, we bogeyed it. That's all right, so we're still one under. I found my glove. 187, this is a full swing, eight iron. Eight iron, that's all right. We can bounce back here, hit a good, hit a good, Shot and let's just get it in that. We got basically no room to miss. So I'm gonna aim a little right. We got no room on the on the left side of the green. This is a nice easy eight iron. Whoa. I don't know if you've seen that about took my face off with that T. Alright, I'm happy with that. So sometimes with the tees that we use, we use plastic tees. Sometimes it hits me in the face, which is no bueno. And that one hit me and hit the bill of my hat. Luckily, it didn't hit me in the face. I've had a couple hit me in the eyebrow, right below the eye. Just eventually we'll take one and this is like a double breaker. I think it's gonna break, break left quite a bit and come back. 34 feet, honestly. We're just looking to get this in the gimme circle. Yeah. That's all, that's all I really wanna do there. Take a par, get out, which stinks, but. All right, well, we've got 382. Look, see, this is the big thing. So if you're looking to come teed up, this is a perfect re this is a perfect reason why. Look how, when you come up here, look how wide that fairway is. So, I mean, in like, let's see. We've got 290, I'm just gonna aim a little bit right, play my normal shot. But yeah, so Bandon dudes, super open fairways, really forgiving which a lot of people off the tee are usually spring, so um, I recommend this course for sure for uh, higher handicaps and beginners. Maybe not a beginner, just because you have all the sand and, and crap, but um, this course for like a 20 handicap, someone who slices the ball a lot, um, this would probably be a really good course. For that player. I gotta keep these wedges all together. We got 107, a little uphill. I'm just gonna do a 52 degree. Oh, you see that pin location back right? Um, we're gonna make sure that our miss is right of the pin, if anything. Like I said, we just gotta do a, a basically a hundred yard shot here. Be good, be good, be good. Dang it, short. A little short, it's okay. I was hoping that'd be really nice. I really, like I, uh, in, the, uh, in the skills challenge, you can really see that I lack on approach game big time. Wow, this one actually breaks quite a bit. We're gonna leave it there. This is one of those putts you just don't expect to roll in. You just want to kind of get it in that gimme circle and get out on with the next hole. 30, 39 feet. The thing is, is uh, the putting record here, that's a pretty good putt from 39 feet. 
Um, the putting record here is 52 feet um, by Guy. He's really good at golf. Um, I've watched him play before, but um, he came here and his first time hit a 52, 52 feet. I'm just like, it's going to be hard to beat that, bub. All right, so 280 to the front, to right there. See, I could calculate and try to hit to my favorite yardage, favorite, favorited yardage, which is, and the skill challenge told me it was 80 and 120, but we're just kind of just hitting driver, seeing if we can get close. I think 50 is okay for me. Should be about 50 yards. Cut more, okay, good. <clears throat> All right, so that one was, that's just fine. What do we got, 50? Five yards in, cool. We got a little wedge in the front. So yeah, this course isn't too bad. Pin pacements are kind of kind of screwed, but you can change. Uh, you can change it. I guess that these are Thursday pins. So I, I know one of the videos that I want to do in the future is Augusta. Maybe even a full 18 on Sunday pins back tees, just to see how brutal it would be. See if I can uh, keep it under 100, but yeah, 56 yards. Hopefully just a little, little nippy thing. Get some bite on it. Sit. There we go. That's what we needed. That's a birdie. We got in that gimme circle, so we got a birdie on that. That's a... I think that's the first time on the channel we've actually done that. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, we're two under now, going into the last hole, par five. Looks like we got some bunkers right here in the middle. I don't think we can go that far. Yeah, so you see these bunkers right here. I'd really like to stay short of them, but um, we're gonna try to go right. Let's play a little cut and if we get those bunkers, we can't go for it in two. We'll lay up. But if we end up missing those bunkers and getting the fairway, we'll definitely go for it. So let's same shot as the last hole. The driver's been pretty good to me recently, so hopefully it's the same. Oh, I sliced that one. And get down. Get down for me. Get down. In that little cubby. So you see how the FPS drops a little bit. I think we have a we have a decent uh, PC gaming PC. It's not amazing, but I think once you get around that deep rough and we're, we don't have the settings on ultra, they're on very high. I think uh, that plays that probably overloads the GPU or the graphics card a little bit. So we got 273 to the pin. I'm hoping just to play just a little tiny cut. If we can be on the green here for Eagle, I will be happy. So we got three wood out. If we if we hit this three wood right, we'll get it there. We just need to make good connection on the three. And I did. Come on in. It's uh it's right there on the desk. You're welcome. Sweet. Sorry for yelling, but uh, we crushed that. What are we? What are we? 240 carry, 256. Um, and we have another eagle putt. So two eagle putts, 50. Unfortunately, we're 50, so we can't go for the record. Um, wow. So it looks like it breaks more right to left than anything. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go about right there. Yeah, this is one of those putts that I want to hit, but we would just want to get it in the gimme circle to uh, to get birdie. So I'm really just trying to shoot to get in the gimme circle here, but if it rolls in, just got to roll it there to give it a chance. Oh my gosh, go in. Oh, and we get an eagle for the last one. Oh, and I, I accidentally selected 18, or 18 holes. So let's check out the scorecard. Let's see what we shot. That's so sweet. That's a sick round. We're four under uh, scorecard. Here it is. Bam, there we go. 
What a round. So as you can tell, this course is just a little bit easier. So um, if you're struggling, um, in my point, opinion, this would be a good course, good ego boost course. Like for me, I never shoot 32s. So it's a pretty easy course, super wide fairways, big greens, putting pacements are a little bit iffy. I was playing, I can't remember what, what yardage I was playing from. I think it was like 64 or something like that, 64. But we went, yeah, eight green and regulations, three birdies and eagle. The bogey was just tough. That bogey was tough. But yeah, so we got, let's see. Yeah, one, two, three birdies, a bogey and an eagle for a 32. I, you know, I enjoyed that. So yeah, uh, like I said, if you guys made it through all this, I appreciate it. Make sure you drop a like, subscribe, turn on the notifications. If you want to see a back nine of any course that uh, I come up and play, we can probably do like a double upload one day. So uh, if you guys want to see the back nine of this course, like let's say you want to see what my 18 is, let me know and I'll play the back nine and we'll double upload maybe uh, one day. Uh, also, let me go ahead and close out of this. So yeah, let me let me check this again. Yeah, we shot a 32. That's my best round so far on this software. But um, the other thing, last thing, is if you want to see any of these courses, like I said, I'm just gonna scroll through them real quick again. If you want me to skip ahead and maybe there's a course that you've played in person, maybe there's a course that, um, like there's Augusta right there. If there's a course that you want to see me play, leave it down in the uh, comments and we can kind of skip around. I don't really have to go in order right now. That's what I'm doing is going in order. Um, so yeah, we've done Valley Hack, Band and Dunes. And uh, so we can either keep going in order or you guys can recommend courses. But yeah, appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. That was a freaking sick round. Yeah.